and we're absolutely starving in studio this I've got morning. A cup of coffee here and no breakfast, and you're having eggs and black pudding <laughs> down in Limerick. It's not fair. Wow. I know, yes, we are back here in the Limerick Strand Hotel and it's time for some cooking, yes, and a beautiful brunch is that what we're going to do and Paddy Anslow here is going to show us how to do it. Good morning to you, Paddy, how are you? Um, I'm good, Alan. That's um, good. So we're making the perfect brunch here. We are making the perfect br brunch, one of the dishes from our, um, from our brunch menu here in the hotel. And so what is it? It's poached eggs. It's poached eggs. It's on uh, potato rosti with black pudding um, and the... The most important thing about this dish is all of the ingredients are locally sourced. Okay, off you go, so. So we have our, we have a bit of mashed potato here that right. we are going to add into our bowl. So this mash is left over from yesterday, so it's a great way to use up products if you have right. if some leftover, leftover potato. Mash, and if you don't have any leftover, just make them fresh. Just make them fresh on the day, and when you make them fresh on the day, you don't want to be adding butter or cream because it does make the potato quite wet and it might... Uh, so interfere you want them nice the firm, and dry. Yeah, interfere with the firmness of, your, of okay. your potato cake, your end result. So then we have some fresh peeled potatoes just sitting in a bit of water here so they don't go um, and discolor on us. So what we're going to do is we're going to grate that in. So we're looking at about equal quantities, mashed potato and freshly grated, grated potato. potato. Whoops, oh. excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. And why do you need the grated potato? Is that part, that's what a rusty is really, A rusty is grated yeah. potato. The, the addition here would be the mash. You know, it's, it's, it's not, wouldn't be normally in a rusty. So the grated potato will give it texture. Uh, it'll give it crunch. So is this your Crisp twist it on it, putting the mash in? Um, this is this is our <laughs> twist in putting the mash in. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's great. You know, it really um, adds to the flavor. You know, yeah. lots, lots of different textures in the dish. So you have your grated potato, your mashed potato in here, and then we've got um, beautiful black pudding. So this pudding is from Caroline Rigney and Curry Chase. So once you have local good quality ingredients. You and know, that's what it's all really about well. this morning, because the hotel here, you're always supporting local producers, aren't you? We are. We try our hardest since, um, since for years, you know, to support as many local producers as we can. And we pride ourselves on the fact that we can do that, and we feel it's very important. Um, so here we have the pudding, the mash, and we're just going to quickly combine all of that together. doesn't have to be anything... Uh, in any particular way, it's yeah. just just how you like it. Nice and it's nice to have chunks of the pudding in rather than just making. Now, it should a we be getting the eggs array. in? Um, yes. So how long do, how long does it take the eggs to? Poaching eggs is the bane of my life. So but, poaching eggs is very simple, but there is a couple of technical tips that you can do. Number one is I wouldn't go cracking the eggs directly into the pot of water. You don't. So I'm going to crack it into a bowl here, so it's just easier to slide it into the water. Um, so, the water bubbling. Now, do you put vinegar in the water? So, I have put vinegar in this water. You see, my husband hates vinegar and he won't allow me to put vinegar in. So, what's the trick with the vinegar? So, the vinegar is the acid. So, if you're not happy with vinegar, your husband doesn't like vinegar, you're going to use a different acid. So, you could use lemon. We have lemon here. All right. So, if you juice a bit of lemon into the water, the acid will react with the protein of the egg white and it will help it uh, coagulate and hold together. Okay. So, so the, this the, is how to make the perfect poached egg. This is the perfect poached egg or... So we hope. <laughs> uh, so we have, um, the water is just at a, a light simmer. I'm going to give it a quick, just a little stir so there's a bit of movement in the water so the egg doesn't sink straight to the bottom of the pot and stick to the pot. So, and then just drop it in. Okay, so that yeah, is your see. egg. All the little tips here. Yeah, so see. never put it directly in. Um, you don't want to drop it in from a height because what's going to happen is the egg is going to splash into the water and the white is going to get... Uh, okay. thrown, thrown around the pot. And you leave them for what, about two minutes? So you leave those for about two minutes, just going to give them a, a gentle stir there to make sure that they're not... Stir. I'd be terrified to touch them when they're in the pot. You just have to make sure that they're not... Um... And then you have your potatoes there ready. So we have our potatoes, so we are now going to just make a little shape, and I have a pan on here, so yeah. a hot pan. Uh, lovely splash of oil in there. And then I actually have some lovely local spring onions here as well, just to give it a, a nice... Extra little bit of flavour, so I'm going to just shape that. And you're, it all you're up, a local Limerick together. man. I am, I'm from Limerick City myself, yes. Um, so it's, it's, it's actually lovely to be on the show here, trying to showcase some yeah. Limerick products, you know. We're, we're very happy that we're able to open again and welcome guests back Isn't into the hotel. Isn't it great that everywhere is reopening? It and is, even it's though it. it's only outdoor dining at the moment, even walking around the city yesterday, when the sun was shining, the child of Prague's not working today for us, the sun was <laughs> shining here yesterday and it was a great atmosphere around town. It is. It's fantastic to see things opening up again. And, you know, 
indoor dining is not quite open yet, but we will get there. You will get, we you know? will get there, yeah. So uh, just put the play dough cake here into the pan. So a nice hot pan and a bit of oil. You can hear the sizzle, that's what we want. So you're just getting a bit of color onto the, the potato mm -hmm. cake. So it just takes a couple of minutes on each side to fry that up. Yeah. And while we're waiting for that to crisp, I'm just going to go and check on my eggs, which are poaching there nicely. So now they're perfect. Look at them. They are. So it's the, the acids See, in yeah. whether you use lemon or vinegar that uh, helps that to come together and hold it. And if you don't use them, that's, that's the key, is it? That is a great oh, tip. Now, yeah. if you don't use either of those, it could still work. Yeah. You, just <laughs> might, you might crack a few <laughs> eggs before you get it right. <laughs> So you're just frying them off. So just frying nice that off, on so it. it's got a, a lovely colour there, and you can see that it's darker in areas, and that's a black pudding, so... It is, it's, it's yeah, an absolute beautiful, really lovely, beautiful product. So local, dish. local products. And where else, what other uh, places do you, do you get your, your, for, your foods from? Um, for this dish, everything is from the locality. So we have Kevin Wallace's leaves, we have uh, tomatoes from Kevin Wallace's farm, and we made a lovely relish from that. We've got Caroline's pudding. We've got eggs from Croom. Yeah. So everything on this plate, it's it's Limerick. It's a plate of Limerick. And I have it here, and the poached egg, perfect poached egg with the rosti and the black pudding. Tommy's raging back in studio because he'd <laughs> love this now. He really would. I'll have to uh, take a trip to the studio and make one for Tommy. You can come up any time you want. Uh, so that's our, our pudding hash now. So that's almost ready to go. So I'm yep. going to just assemble a plate. Yeah. So we have our lovely relish. So this is made from Kevin Wallace's tomatoes. Beautiful, beautiful relish. So on to the plate. Not so too you fancy. put it on just, the plate first. I'm, I'm going to put it on the plate first and then I'm going to put it on top as well. So okay. then we've got our salad leaves. So I'm going to just pick a few of those and I'm going to pop them into my bowl. And we have a lovely uh, honey and mustard vinaigrette. Just a light drizzle. And again, just a light drizzle to make sure that each leaf is coated. And the leaf goes onto the plate. Beautiful. And that's out of the way there. And now we're going to take our Rossi so straight Rossi from the pan straight onto on. the plate. And then there the poached egg on top of that. And then the poached egg on top of that. So when you're taking the poached egg out of the water, just have a little towel. So, you know, you're taking the eggs out of the water. You don't want too much water on your plate. There you go. Look One, at that. two eggs. And this is... Um, this is a lovely dish on our brunch menu currently here in the hotel, and it's a very popular one, so... And then you put a bit of relish on top. A little top bit of that. relish on top. There you go. And it is absolutely beautiful. It's so quick and simple to make. You can make it yourself at home, very easy, but if you don't want to do that, you can come and visit. And you know what? He's, lo he's looking free. longingly on it, so I think we have to give Pat Short that now, because he's literally <laughs> looking... He's drooling down there. Thank you so much no for that. No problem at all. Um,